Because the world, that's where the world is headed. That's what that was, what, that's what I meant. <laughs> Political. Yeah, you're gonna hear the truth here. So. The world is teetering on the edge and the headlines scream louder than ever. Today, we're diving into a boiling cauldron of geopolitical chaos, reckless decisions, and the haunting specter of war. Britain's role in this escalating crisis has been nothing short of catastrophic, with Keir Starmer's labor proving itself a willing puppet to dangerous warmongering. Stick around as we expose the stark truths behind a parliament that rubber stumps catastrophe and a leadership that marches us straight Russian into oblivion. At a cool seven million pounds. 99% of you are watching without subscribing. Don't miss out. Hit subscribe and like for real, unfiltered news the mainstream won't cover. Your support helps us keep bringing you the truth. In a chilling echo of history's darkest chapters, Britain has once again thrown itself into the firing line, launching 12 Storm Shadow cruise missiles into Russian territory. These actions, carried out without parliamentary consultation or even a whisper of opposition from MPs, underline the sheer arrogance and negligence of those steering this country. Let's not sugarcoat this. Britain's parliament has been reduced to a laughing stock, a powerless entity that merely rubber stumps decisions dictated by Washington. And who's at the helm? Keir Starmer and his Labour allies, not standing against these reckless actions, but actively Russian enabling them. In at a cool seven million pounds. Let's break this down. These missiles, worth a cool seven million pounds, are being fired while millions of British pensioners brace for a winter of bitter cold stripped of their cold weather allowance by a government more focused on foreign adventures than its own citizens. It's minus four degrees already, and the cost of living crisis bites deeper each day. Yet here we are, funding weapons Supplies of war instead and of providing war to the most vulnerable in our society. By NATO will be treated as a declaration of direct involvement in the war by the whole alliance, the whole alliance even though only the United States. But let's not just dwell on the domestic implications. The international fallout of these actions is staggering. Vladimir Putin has been clear. Any attack involving NATO supplied, operated, or targeted long-range missiles will be treated as a declaration of war by the entire alliance. That's not conjecture. That's straight from the man with his finger on the nuclear trigger. And what have we done? Britain has poked the bear, provoking a response that could obliterate a thousand years of history and every living soul on this island within 15 minutes. Hypersonic missiles impossible to intercept could reduce Britain to nuclear ash. And yet, not, not one MP spoke against an this madness. overwhelming Russian response on the Ukrainian capital. It may be that they are counting on their previous special relationship with Russia to protect them from being targeted. My advice to them is to think again and send your diplomats home. The NATO alliance is thus jointly and severally responsible for a declaration of war. Even non-NATO countries are taking heed, closing their embassies in Kyiv in anticipation of Russia's retaliation. Only Israel remains, clinging to a precarious hope that its past relations with Moscow might shield it. My advice, don't bet on it. Russia has been explicit in its warnings, and the signs are everywhere. From the mass production of portable nuclear bunkers to televised maps delineating missile strike zones, Russia is preparing for an all-out war. This isn't mere posturing, it's a harrowing reality. Yet amidst this, the Labour Party remains silent. Keir Starmer, touted as a leader, has proven himself to be anything but. Under his watch, Labour has become indistinguishable from the Conservatives, both parties complicit in dragging Britain into a crisis that serves no one with American interests. The United States, protected by vast oceans, can afford its geopolitical gambles. But Britain, 
We're not even the dog in this fight. The We're the tail of the American dog, wagging to their every command. Of portable nuclear bunkers. I don't know how effective they'll be when the shooting starts, but it's a sign that the Russians fully expect all-out war, which will soon turn nuclear. Just stop. Just do what the fuck you want. This blind allegiance to Washington is rooted in an ancient animosity towards Russia, a peculiar hatred that predates the Bolsheviks, the Cold War, and even Vladimir Putin. This is the British establishment's historical grudge, now reciprocated by Russia with devastating potential. And here's the bitter truth. While the US can weather the storm it provokes, Britain cannot. Free Russian missiles are all it would take to obliterate this nation. Think about that. And who will suffer most? Not the politicians in Westminster or the elites in their fortified homes. The irony is glaring. As the government justifies its actions with lofty rhetoric about democracy and freedom, it's clear that our own democratic processes are in tatters. No debate, no vote, no transparency. Just blind obedience to a foreign agenda. Is this the Britain we want? Is this the leadership we deserve? It's time to hold these so-called leaders accountable. Keir Starmer's labor has failed us. The Tories have failed us. And as we edge closer to the abyss, we must demand a government that prioritizes the welfare of its people over the whims of foreign powers. Britain deserves better. We deserve better. This crisis isn't just about missiles or geopolitics. It's about the very soul of our nation. Will we continue to be led down a path of destruction by a government more loyal to Washington than its own people? Or will we stand up and demand real leadership, real accountability, and real change? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more hard-hitting analysis on the realities shaping our world. Stay ahead with I think it's really very clear from a number of extremely well-placed um, politicians and sources that Downing Street knew perfectly well uh, an awful lot of information that they kept from us up until recently and I, I firmly believe that there's a lot more that will come out. Isabel Oakeshott is no stranger to controversy and her recent statements have once again sparked intense debate. Known for her sharp analysis and unapologetic views, she's become a prominent figure in a media landscape where voices like hers are increasingly resonating with voters. Her recent remarks on the Labour Party's failure to capture the imagination of the British electorate have added fuel to an already blazing fire. Oakeshott, a vocal critic of Keir Starmer's leadership, has highlighted what many political analysts are beginning to notice.